Hi guys, welcome to my world. My name is Shaq. We have another fantastic day in Sydney, Australia. Unfortunately, I dropped my 2017 CBR1000RR last night. So I'll be showing you guys how I dropped my CBR1000RR and what kind of damages I've got on my motorcycle now. First off, I'll show you guys the bag I was wearing last night. This is the bag I was wearing. Because I had a lot of stuff inside the bag, the bag was too heavy. So, as you guys can see, this one was the bag. This strap came off while I was riding. So I decided to stop at the next set of lights to fix the strap. And what happened was I lost balance of my motorcycle and I dropped it. So I'll be showing you guys some of the damages I've got on my motorcycle. The front mirror is all scratched up, lucky it doesn't have any cracks. Um, the brake lever is damaged, I need to get that replaced ASAP. This area is all scratched up, it's not a big issue. Um, this part of the fairing, as you guys can see, it's all scratched. I'm not sure how well the camera will pick it up, but it's all scratched up. And if it's only a plastic part, I can get it replaced, but if it's painted, I might need to get it painted again. This part of the fairing is all scratched up. This part as well, it's got a small scratch. Um, unfortunately, with the matte paints, you can't get them polished. You gotta get them painted. If it was a gloss black or anything like that, I would have been able to polish this out. But because it's matte paint, unfortunately, I gotta get it painted. This area is all scratched up, unfortunately. The foot pegs are in good condition. Luckily, the fuel tank is in good condition as well. There's no scratches. There's no scratches to the seat. Luckily, there's, it's in good condition. The rear fairing doesn't have any scratches. The rear seat is in good condition as well, as well as the blinkers. However, I got some scratches on my arrow slip-on exhaust, as you guys can see. And I put some scratches in this area as well, um, for, to the leg pipe. Luckily, this bike is not a R1M, otherwise I would have been very, very upset. It's only a Honda, it can be replaced. It's not a SP2, nothing special, just the base model CBR 1000 rr So guys, since the bike is already damaged, I'm planning to either get the bike painted or I might get it wrapped. But that, that will probably happen in the next two or three months time because I'm busy with the other projects I'm doing at the moment. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe, share and hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. Thank you.